This is the end. Disgusting. Looks like cheese. Or the moon. Or the moon is cheese. Uh, anyway, it's not important. You see, I've removed the end before in my survival world, but never did anything before I joined Igniter. So I'm going to do the only logical thing and do it again. Now, before we even start removing it, we need to do some things. First one being getting 10 shulkers of Dragon's Breath. What's up, guys? I'm Painting Thing, and in today's video, we are removing the end. <laughs> No, I'm doing you. Yeah, Dana, we need to uh, get 10 shulkers of sand to turn into glass bottles. So, do you want to build the super, super smelter? Or am I building the super smelter? Like, what we... Oh, is that for the sand? That's for the sand, so we can turn it into glass, so we can turn the glass into bottles. Because we need dragon's breath, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to build the super smelter, so you should probably build that, and do then I can do the sand, but do you I know don't how to, know work, how the to work the machine. Okay, I, I literally, I'm just going to ask you to put the stuff in the boxes. We'll figure it out. Oh, my set. Now what? Oh! Whee! One, two, three, four, five. Once I got a fish alive, there's no fish in the end, but I have shulker boxes. That makes no sense. I'm gonna go build a quick super smelter. I don't know where I'm gonna build it, because I don't really have anywhere, but we'll figure it out. Okay, minecart rails. I don't even know. I'm just grabbing random redstone components I have lying around. I don't have any shulker boxes, I've just realized. God, Zero does such good deals. Why does everyone buy from the other place? Now you might be saying, hey painting, that's a weird super smelter. And that's because it's like the one that you bought off eBay where the guy that sold it to you has to fight the raccoons outside the back of his house to get it back. And that's mainly because I designed it. Okay, now we uh, have to craft all of it. I'm missing one choker, but I might as well start now. I've just realized how long this is going to take. I might actually die before I finish this project. Okay, well, I guess we'll find out. Ten chokers all filled with glass bottles. Um, problem now being we got to fill them all with dragon's breath. Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to get ten done. Like, ever. But we can try. Let's go uh, grab the stuff needed to make some end crystals. Okay, I got one blaze powder and then I realized I need four end crystals. Not two. So... Back down to hell we go. Ow. Fire burns. The fire burns. And now we can craft four end crystals. Just like that. And now we can respawn the dragon once. And, you know, then we just have to do this like 18 more times. But that's latest problem. Now's problem is to go and try and get some dragon's breath. This is where I found out something really important. There's probably a video on this, but I just figured it out myself. If you use an auto clicker on the breath that the dragon shoots out when it perches, you can get stacks and stacks of it instead of just a few bottles. Meaning instead of spending 74 years getting dragon's breath, I could do it in just a few hours. Ah, uh, this is more than we need. Perfect. Now we've collected all the dragon's breath, we can move on to the next step, which is killing the dragon 20 times and unlocking all the end gateways. Most of the materials to do this, I can easily get apart from one. That one is blaze powder. So me and Dano decided to venture to the nether. Oh, Dano! You can copy! Oh, oh. Me and Dano no longer like the nether. Anyways, finally me and Dano collected all the blaze powder that we needed and we crafted the 80 end crystals that we would need to resummon the dragon. Hopefully we don't have to go back there again. That's called foreshadowing. Hey, remember at one second ago I said it was foreshadowing that we didn't need to go back there and now I'm setting a boat in the end portal? If the dragon dies and you die in the portal and your items get stuck underneath, and then they despawn before you can grab them, they're gone. And the only thing that despawned was the end crystal. So now we have to go and do all of that all over again. Anyways, after a few minor casualties, the dragon was killed 20 times and all the gateway was summoned. Did I record it? No. Because that would be smart. Okay, so that's um, all that done. And before we actually start mining the obsidian, I, I kind of need a bear pickaxe. Oh, that took so long. Broken? I don't know. Wait for it. There we go. And now, all that's left to do is to actually mine the pillars. So, uh, without further ado, let's roll that time lapse.
Right, so that is all the pillars of mine that I need to mine. I couldn't finish mining them all of them, all of them to zero, but I mined them down enough. They don't need to be mined further than this. So now it's time to actually build the dupers. Uh, but before we do that, we have to remove these bedrock, these, but I am like not okay today. I need to remove bedrock. Alright, so uh, now all we need to do is, um, okay, I can't look serious with the time on. Uh, okay, so now all we need to do is actually build the dupers and remove the main island itself, so without further ado, let's roll that time lapse. And there it is, it's almost done. Um, now, if you, if you are uh, wondering what happened to the third machine, we'll just say some sacrifices were made. Because the server only has seven chunks of render distance, it kind of just decided to not want to be here, so uh, it's gone now. Anyways, uh, all that's left to do is that part over there, and then I have to mine up some of these. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's still like pillars here, but I'm going to have to mine those off camera. Updates will be on the community tab, but or on the Discord. Thank mm -hmm. you. 